In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I transfer my footage from my old digital camera into an MP4 format and then eventually onto my phone. And this is how I upload all of the footage you see onto social media. So with these old camcorders, the file will come as an MOD. Um, when you upload it to your computer, it should say MOD. You can click on it and watch it on your computer from there, but if you wanna transfer it to your phone and then upload it to social media, it will not work as you need an MP4 file. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to convert them into MP4. Let's go. So the first thing you'll be needing is your camcorder, obviously, with the footage already inside it. Um, if you've got a memory card in the camcorder, you can also just do it like this. You can keep the memory card inside and you want to find the USB type A slot. This one is on the back of the camera. Uh, many JVCs have them on the front here somewhere. Quite hard to find normally, but this one's on the back, so it's nice and easy. You would then want to grab your USB type A lead. It looks like that. The camera might not pick that up, but it's a USB type A to type B and then you want to grab your camcorder and as you know how a plug works you want to plug that in and then obviously with the other end straight into your computer. Now that you're on your computer you should plug in the device and it will pop up. I'm using Mac, Windows is exactly the same principles. The camera will pop up and you want to go into the SD video files. It is normally under a file called P RG001. Once you've opened that, you will now see two different file types and a third one being the PGI right at the end. You can ignore that and the MOI and all you need are the MOD files. They are your video files and these are the ones that you are going to convert into MP4. So I just select all of these and I put them into a file to stay organised. Whilst we're on the theme of camcorders and MP4 footage, I'd like to briefly tell you about my August giveaway. If you didn't know, I sell these camcorders, cameras, and also do giveaways with them. This month of August, so this video, if you're watching it in the future, it'll probably be a different giveaway. It will be a different giveaway. This is a Sony HDR S7E and it is up for grabs in August of 2023. So if you're watching the video in this month that I'm telling you about, please head over and enter the giveaway competition and it could be yours. You now want to open your browser and go to a website called cloudconvert.com. It's the one I use and it's just been perfect for me. You can actually sign up and pay to have more minutes, more downloads, etc, etc. But for the videos I make, I probably take about 20 to 30 videos each time and I can convert them all for absolutely free just as long as you sign up with your email address. So once you're on the site, you want to select the files that you have just put into the folder, being the mod files. These are the ones you're going to convert into an MP4. And then what I like to do, because I have signed up with my email, this is the same account that I use on Google Drive, so I will explain in a minute, but obviously now you convert the file that you want it to be, MP4, because that is the file that works for social media, YouTube, etc, etc. And then as you can see, I just pressed a little tick icon to save to my drive, and then I hit convert, because as I'm converting these on here, I can download them from this site, they are now also being uploaded to my Google Drive account where I can go onto my phone and download the videos straight to my phone. So as you can see, it all ties in together nicely. Alternatively, if you don't want them to go onto Drive, you can just hit download all, then they will download straight to your computer and you have them to do whatever you please. So I'll just quickly show you, as you can see, all of the MP4 files are now on my Google Drive. If you download the Google Drive app as well, you can go onto your phone and these files will be there ready to download. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope I could help. As I said, I find this to be the smoothest way to do this procedure. Um, it's not too hard and it is a good way of making old tech and new tech work. So if you did enjoy this video and you like the old cameras, I do reviews and stuff on the cameras. I go for photo walks and take pictures in my other videos. So if that's something you'd like to watch, please drop a sub to the club and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.